Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa has given us the next thing. Subhanallah, this is a beautiful one. And sisters, you need to listen to this, okay? Because sisters don't have the time. And he said it to a sister. He said it to his wife. Juwayriya radiallahu anha. His wife was so concerned about the Akhirah. Once Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa he read Salatul Fajr with his companions. And his wife was with him at the back. And when he got up sallallahu alayhi wa he passed by. His wife was still sitting in the corner. She was just remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. This is not just for sisters, brothers. You can do it as well. So he passed by and he saw his wife just sitting there remembering Allah Azza wa Jal. And he went away, done his good days, you know, whatever da'wah, everything, anything else he had to do. He came back. Zohar time, he came back. You know how many hours this is? This is six hours later approximately. He came back and he saw his wife Juwayriya sitting in the same place. Same place. And he said, oh Juwayriya, what are you doing here? And she said, Messenger of Allah, I have been remembering Allah from the last moment you saw me till this moment. Allah. Six hours of dhikr. Of remembrance of Allah. He said, oh Juwayriya, had you said, had you said the same, the same thing I said, three times over, which you know how long it takes? It takes you 15 seconds. He said, Have, had you said the same thing I said three times over, you would have got the same reward from Fajr till Zuhr sitting here remembering Allah. Allah. This is a hadith in Muslim. This is a sahih hadith in Muslim. And I want you to learn these words. Subhanallahi wa bihamdihi adada khalqihi wa rida nafsihi وزنة عرشه ومداد كلماته. Right, now I'm going to tell you the meaning of that. Subhanallah wa bihamdi. I say that Allah is so perfect and I praise Allah. Subhanallah wa bihamdi, that's what it means. Subhanallah means Allah is perfect. From any imperfection, He is he's away from that. And wa bihamdi means I'm praising Him. How much am I praising Him? How many times am I saying Subhanallah to Him? Adad khalqi, as many. Times he has created creation as many of those creatures and creation of his exist. That's how many times I say subhanallah to him. That's how many times I say alhamdulillah to him. So all the human beings, all the jinns, all the drops of water that have come from the sky, all the clouds, all the fish in the sea, all the ants in the world, all the grains of sand, all the soil, all the leaves of the trees, any, all the winds that are blowing in the whole of the world, all the angels in the sky, in the heavens, anything Allah has created, I say that many times subhanallah to him, I say that many times alhamdulillah to him. The next one, he said, وَرِضَى nafsi." Until Allah is not pleased himself, I don't stop saying subhanallah wa bihamdi. Allah. So, rida means pleasure, bihamdi means, uh, nafsihi means himself. So until he himself is not pleased, I continue to say that. And then he added, وَزِنَةَ arshihi," Which means the weight of his throne, whatever weight that comes up to, I carry on saying subhanallah, I carry on saying alhamdulillah, I carry on saying that for Allah azza wa jal, I say that until he, his, he, I reach the weight of his, his own throne. And the next one is, وَمِدَادَ kalimati." If you take all the ink, if you take all the oceans of the earth and you turn them to ink, if you take all the trees of the world and you turn them to pen, to pens, right? So you got all the pens from the trees, you got the, all the ink from the oceans, and you start to write about the beauty of Allah Azza wa Jal and about Him and His attributes and His wonderful nature. The pens will finish, the ink will dry according to one ayah of the Quran, but Allah's praise will never finish. I say subhanallah to Allah, I say alhamdulillah to, to Allah as many times as it will take the, the inks and the pens to continue to write his, his wonderful names and his wonderful attributes. Allah Akbar. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi adad khalqihi wa rida nafsihi wa zinat arshihi wa midad kalimatih Right, if you say this more, you can say any time, it's not morning, evening, it's any time you want, three times, every third time you, re- you come over, you have received six hours of dhikr reward. Just go home, the, one of the things I do is at home, right, I'm going to tell you to do this as well. Go home and just, you know, happily, your family members know you're right, yeah? So you go home and just, you know, when you're doing the dishes, when you're sort of, you know, in your own things, whatever you're doing, just say, Subhanallah wa bihamdihi adad khalqihi wa rida nafsihi wa zinata. I'm going to